Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another lesson. We're working on a lot of fun things recently, a lot of fine motor skills, and we're getting those fingers working and getting stronger every day. I hope you're enjoying those lessons with the tracing, the letter, and the number. Today, we're going to do another activity which involves our fingers. Now we're going to do it an activity that involves a little chant as well. Now you know this chant very well. Open and shut is the way we cut. Great job. Now before every time we do a cutting activity, we go through some of our rules. We go through some of our safety rules. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to look at some of, remember some of our safety rules before we start cutting. Going to when you're walking around with the scissors, are you holding the handle? No, great job. You're holding the blade. When you're going to use the scissors, are you going to open by the blade? No, you are going to open using the handles. One thumb in and two fingers in. Open and shut is the way we cut. Is your thumb supposed to be on top or are your fingers supposed to be on top? Your thumb, great job. Never your fingers. Your fingers should not be on top. Always put your thumb on top and that way you can cut easily. Good job. Great job everybody, that was wonderful. Just remembering the rules of the safety for scissors use is very crucial. Now what we're all we're going to do now is last week I did not give mom and dad a little tutorial of how to make the paper to cut the activity. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a little bit about how to cut the paper. Um, you're going to need a regular 8 by 11 construction piece of paper or a regular piece of printing paper if that's what you have. Scissors and a marker. All right, here we go. You're going to need your scissors and your marker. What I would like you to do first is you're going to fold that full piece of paper in half so that the long ends are folded in half. Now that that is folded, I would like you to get your scissors and you're going to cut along that folded piece that you have just done all the way across on the line. You'll see that crease that you just made by folding it, cutting very slowly on the line. Well, you are masters at cutting, you don't need to cut slowly. <laughs> now you have your two pieces. If you would like, you can do your tracing activity for two pieces. On the one piece, you're now going to get your marker and you're going to very, uh, well, you don't need to do it slowly, but do a very slight curve. We're not doing a major curve as yet because they're still learning. As you can see, I haven't done much of a curve too much, but it is a slight curve that they are going to start practicing. You can do up to five like I've done, or if you'd like to do less to allow them to practice, that's no problem. Remember, you do have two sheets. Great job. Okay, now we are ready to start our cutting activity. Now remember, when we are cutting, we need to make sure that our fingers and our hands are in the right place. So when we're cutting our activity, remember your hands are going to be on the side of the paper, not at the top, not at the bottom, at the side. And every time you finish cutting a line, you can move your hand across to, sh to hold the paper. All right, put your fingers into the scissors and we're going to start our cutting activity now. Remember, point that scissors up, thumb on top, always have the thumb on top, hold on the side of the paper, 
and slowly you're going to begin to cut along the line. Now this is a slow activity. What's going to happen is when you're cutting, you're going to need to move the paper and the scissors at the same time. That's going to be a little bit difficult. So just try your best. And when you get to the end of the line, you're going to stop. Great job. Now you're going to move to the next side of the paper. Good job, just like Mike did. And you're going to cut along that line as well. Nice and slowly. See how I am moving my paper and my scissors at the same time. That's how we're learning how to cut on a curved line now. Great job. That's fantastic. Wonderful. One last time, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hold the side of the paper and you're going to cut using the scissors and moving the paper along with the scissors just as you are cutting to make sure that you can get a nice smooth cut. Wonderful, that was great cutting. See how nice and neat my lines are? That's what I'm hoping. Great job. Now it's your turn. It's going to be your turn to show me how well you can cut on those curved lines. I hope to see a beautiful video or an image of you cutting and doing a fantastic job.